What's going on, heathens? We're back again with another reaction video. Uh, we got a, something new to check out today. It uh, seems interesting. Um, my friend Brandon sent it to me. Told me it reminded him of a, like a Japanese children of Bodom or Bodom, however you pronounce, however you choose to pronounce. It. I've heard both ways. Um, I know it's not Bottom, but um, this band is called Ryujin. I think I'm pronouncing that right. They're Japanese, like I said, and the name of the song is Gekogujo. I don't know if I pronounced that right either. I know it's not Gecko Kujo. But um, yeah, I'm intrigued. I saw the thumbnail. Looked interesting. Uh, the idea of a Japanese Children of Bodom sounds interesting. So I'm all for it. Um, if you've heard of these guys, drop some info in the comments for me. Please, info, recommendations, thoughts, opinions. Um, thumbs up, subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. Let's do this. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, I got the lyrics pulled up because I know I can't understand shit that Bodum says, much less the Japanese version. Let's do this. And I'm still sick, so forgive me if I sound like shit. Oh well. <laughs> Oh, that was rad. <laughs> totally got some modem vibes. But they look cool as shit. God. I think that's really cool how they got the, I don't know what the instrument's called, but it looked like some kind of a flute, woodwind instrument. I don't know what that is. Let me know. And he's got the, I don't know the fucking name of it either, but it's got like three strings on it. That's really cool that they're incorporating um, their, their type of folk music, I guess, into this as well. It's already really fucking cool. And they haven't even started. But yeah, I definitely see some Alexi Lejo influence in the singer just by his power stance right there. Looks rad as hell. Tell me you don't see it. That's a tiny drum set to be throwing down that hard. That's so cool. This is rad. These guys are not fucking around. Mm.
is that? What is that called? Yo, all these instruments, these different random instruments they're playing, they're just very intriguing. I've never, I've seen the string instrument that he's playing, but this other stuff, it's it's really interesting. Again, guys, if you if you've been following these guys, like drop some info for me. But the song overall sounds like a fucking like a revolutionary song. Just like um, it's talking about sheep telling the sheep to take their masks off and like overthrowing the higher power and shit like that. It's pretty fucking rad. And like these characters that their masks and shit. I, Again, I don't know any Japanese folklore, mythology, or anything like that. So, um, like, all the masks are interesting. Um, the characters they have, it's really fucking cool. It's really interesting. And, of course, musically, they're just fucking shredding it up. They're, they're killing it. Like, this is new, it's different, and I like shit like this. I appreciate this kind of stuff. <laughs> What is that, dude? Looks like a big ass tree. Love that melody right there. really fucking cool. Let's a little bit more melodic right here. You have to check that one out too. Yes, I was about to say that, um, I, I know, I've seen this, the name of this band before because Matt Heapy did a song with them. So that one I may have to check out too. Let's we'll stop before we get ad fucked. So yeah, dude. The, when he sent it to me, I was like, I swear I think that um, Matt Heapy did a song with these guys. Um, Matt Heapy is from Trivium. One of, another one of my favorite uh, bands. Favorite metal bands. I knew it was coming. Um... Yeah, I, I fucking love Trivium and his um his new band that he has. I don't know, it's it's another Japanese name. It's like Ibaraki or something, but that that fucking shreds too. It, it sounds like um it's it's Matt Heafy's genre, but he's got a lot of black metal influence into. But anyways, off the rails. Um, these guys are fucking badass. Um, like I said, I'd heard of them, but I hadn't checked them out until he sent it to me. I was like, oh shit, I need to. Yeah, so that was a lot of fun. Thank you for sending that to me, dude. I'm going to have to check out some more. Um, but again, guys, if you've heard of these guys, um, drop some info in the comments. There's a lot of shit that I had no idea what was going on or what it was, but it was really interesting. Um, so let me know. Also, feel free to spam the hell out of the comments with more recommendations. Um, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I would appreciate it, and definitely check out my other reactions, too. I've got a shit ton of them. But um, I appreciate you guys. Please take care of yourselves, take care of each other. I'll see you on the next reaction. Later.